Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Game Changer and my name is Wolfsbane. Due to the new laws implemented in Singapore for Circuit Breaker, I am currently recording in the comfort of my own home and at my streaming workstation. So for the last episode that I was in, we were talking about work from home tips. So this week we have some cool and exciting stuff to share with you guys. So everybody is at home recently playing all different kind of games and there was one game that really caught the eye of the community. You guys know what that is? You thought right, it is Animal Crossing! So, I know right, I mean Animal Crossing sounds like the kind of game that is fun, tender, loving, care. But there's so many things in the game that most people do not know about and beginners actually struggle with these kind of things uh, as they progress through the story. So this is my favorite topic. You guys remember our resident favorite raccoon, Tom Nook? So yes, I mean he seems cute and cuddly on the outside but on the inside he is actually a little bit devious. He's like always asking us to pay our debts, gonna build houses for our villagers, we gotta build infrastructure, we gotta do lots and lots of things for him and it kind of makes it seem like we're never ever gonna get enough bells aka money for building anything or enjoying island life at all. So here is some tips on how to get rich in Animal Crossing! Tip number one, island fruits. So starting on your new journey in your new island, you will be randomly assigned a native fruit. So the fruits that are available are apples, cherries, oranges, peaches, and pears. So coconuts are also available in this game, but not at the start. So once you know what your native fruit is, you'll be able to sell them in your island shop for 100 bells. But wait, that doesn't sound very profitable, isn't it? So what's important to know is selling fruits that are not native to your island would grant you extra, extra bells. For example, if your native fruit is apple and you have oranges on hand available, selling them in your island shop would give you 500 bells per piece. So that is times 5 the profit. I know you guys must be wondering, how do I get other kinds of fruits? For starters, if you play with your family and friends, you'll be able to trade or exchange with them their fruits. So when you bring them back to the island, then you will be able to sell them for a higher profit. But hey, wait, not so fast. Did you guys know that you can also grow your non-native fruits on your island? So by doing that, you would be able to access them much easier and you will be able to sell them at your own shop. So that means you don't have to go back and forth with your family and friends anymore. You can actually just sell the fruits in your own island. So that's how you make big bucks with fruits. Tip number two, money rocks and trees. So you must be thinking, what? Money grows on rock and trees? So yes, they do in Animal Crossing in fact. First, let's talk about the money rock. So the money rock is a phenomenon that happens once every day in your island. It involves hitting your island rocks with a shovel or a stone axe to get bells out of the rock. Take note that a rock in general can be struck up to 8 times within a limited amount of time. So make haste so that you make more money. Next up, we have money trees. So one money tree will appear daily in your island as well. So explore your island, look around, and you will find a shiny glow in the grass that stands out. Use a shovel to dig up the hole and you will get 1000 bells. But hey, here's the catch. Where is the money tree? For a money tree to grow, you would have to throw some bells back into the hole and bury it for it to become a sapling. So for example, burying 5000 bells would mean that when the tree is fully grown, you would get 15,000 bells. That's good profit, isn't it? So friendly reminder guys, do this on a daily basis as it is free bells for you. Tip number three, insects and fish. So catching insects and fish is probably one of the most fun things to do in Animal Crossing because having caught them, you would be able to donate them to your up and coming museum. However, sometimes you might have extra or duplicate fish or insects. You know what that means? It means more bells for you. So remember to sell them at your island shop to make a quick buck. Some insects and fishes have a different price tag. They range from cheap to expensive. 
So check which species will be beneficial for you before you use your time to go get them. Here's a pro tip. When you are further into Animal Crossing, you will meet specific characters like Flick and CJ who would pay you 1.5 times more bells for insects and fishes. So remember to farm as much as you can when they are around. Tip number four, turnips. So turnips is somewhat like stocks in the stock market world. So this is probably one of the fastest methods to acquire bells really quickly and get rich. So guys, set your alarms because turnips are only available every Sunday from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. So take this chance to save up as much bells as possible to buy turnips. Once you have secured your turnips, you will have to wait for one day before selling them off. And here's the tricky part. So your NPCs from your island shop, Timmy and Tommy, would change the turnip prices twice on a daily basis in the morning and afternoon. It would do you good to monitor the prices as it fluctuates. So you might be thinking, oh my goodness, I have been monitoring my island shop for a week now and the turnip prices are still bad. So what should I do in this situation? So in this situation, you should try to ask your family and friends for their turnip prices on their island shop. So you may hit a jackpot eventually on an island that buys turnips for a high price. So once you sell them off, you can literally make it rain. So that's all from me today and I hope that these tips will help you get richer in Animal Crossing. So remember to stay home, stay safe and see you guys soon. Bye bye!